the main reason why I wanted us to to show people the sled is that I feel like so many people think that the sled has to be a you know sports performance type based. yeah like CrossFit yeah or... like just because you push a sled doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be performing in CrossFit or have to be an athlete man fact, look at look at Justin's glutes yeah. <laughs> But, you know, there's some key points that you want to pay attention to. Like, notice his spine. He keeps very good neutral spine. He's got neutral spine. He's got good hip extension. He's reaching through and driving. This is actually, a lot of people don't realize this, the sled is a great muscle builder. It's not just for conditioning. Well, this is how I use it. I, I don't ever, I'm not, this, I'm not a sports performance guy. I rarely use it explosively or fast. I'll go really slow and controlled like this. I'm working on my mobility. I'm taking big, long strides. Okay. I'm concentrating on driving and off. And you can see what he's doing. Like he's doing, like he's doing reps. Like, you know, big step through, big step through, big step through. Um, what's he doing? The other side looks like? He's gonna get low here. You know what I see a lot of people do the low one? You know how they screw up? They stick their butt up way up in the air. Let's yeah, see if he does it right. No, he'll get down low. Oh, there he is. Yeah, yeah. you want your hips down low nice with low. your shoulders. You don't want your ass yeah. up in the air above your shoulders. You want it down below. And you're going to get a lot more hip involvement here with this low one because you have to step forward and you have to push out with this good hip extension. So it's a fanta fantastic power movement. Here's the cool thing about this. You don't get the negative portion of a rep like you would when you're lowering something with heavy weight. So you, you, this is a great way to add volume and not necessarily add tons of damage. Because the negative portion of reps tends to well, damage muscles. I also love, too, how functional it is. Very functional. So, I mean, when you talk about exercises that have carryover into our daily movements, many times in your life you'll have to push or pull something like that. And working on those mechanics so when you go into that, you, your body naturally gets right into that yeah. form. Material. This is a great way to increase your functional strength. I like to do these uh, the way Justin was just demonstrating, uh, both either at the beginning or at the end of the workout. It actually works, works well both ways. Oh, so. Abs absolutely. So there you go, strength building sled pushes. Excellent workout.